The triple beam balance is so named because of its three beams with sliding masses. It is a common type of balance and comes in many styles. Starting at the left end, there is the upper pan support. Screws to zero the balance. The pivot lock at the pivot point of the beam. Then sliding masses and a scale to see if the balance is balanced. Hang the upper end of the pan support on its knife edge. Unlock the pivot lock by turning it 180 degrees so that the more pointed part of the lock is down. This unlocks the balance, allowing it to be used. It is very important to unlock the beam. If the beam is locked, the balance will appear to function, but will give completely erroneous results. Move the three sliding masses back to their zero positions. Swing the support stand out of the way of the balance pan. Make sure that the beam doesn't scrape against the side supports. Check this often while using the balance. Also make sure there is no rubbing at the pivot point. Center the beam in its holder at the pivot point. The balance is not zeroed as the line on the beam is above the center line on the support. Adjust these zeroing screws to zero the balance. It might help to hold the beam while you're turning them. The balance is zeroed when the line on the beam lines up with the center line on the support. Again, make sure that the pivot lock is pointed down at the, and that the pan support is hanging on its knife edge. Carefully place the object to weigh in the balance pan. First move the heavy slider as far to the right as possible without causing the right end of the beam to drop. Then move the next heavier slider as far to the right as possible without causing the right end of the beam to drop. Make sure the beam is not rubbing on the support. Using a finger or the tip of a pen or pencil, carefully slide the smallest sliding mass back and forth until it balances. It balances when the line on the beam lines up with the center line on the support. The readings on the three beams need to be added together. 10 plus 8 plus 0.07 or 18.07 grams. The unnumbered marks on the small scale are 0.01 gram apart, so the balance determines masses to plus or minus 0.01 grams. On the small slider, read to its left edge. The normal capacity of the balance is 111 grams.
this object has a mass larger than that. There are accessory masses available at the base of the balance which increase the capacity of the balance. This accessory mass has 100 grams printed on it, but its mass isn't 100 grams. However, when hung from the right end of the beam, it increases the capacity of the balance by 100 grams and will balance a 100 gram mass placed in the balance pan. Again, move the heaviest slider into place first. Then the next heavier slider. and then the lightest slider and into place until the balance balances. Again, be careful that the beam doesn't rub against the support. The balance is now balanced. The 100 grams must be added to the 1 gram, the 70 gram, and the 0.92 gram setting for a total of 171.92 grams or 0.17192 kilograms. This balance can also be used to weigh an object in a fluid. Swing the support stand into place on top of the pan. Make sure that it doesn't touch the pan or its supports. Place the container of fluid on the support stand, again making sure that it doesn't touch the balance pan or its supports. Attach a small thread to the mass and hang it from the small hook at the end of the beam. Make sure that the mass is totally submerged in the fluid. The mass will weigh less in the fluid than it does in the air as the fluid will buoy it up more than the air does. The thread hangs from the hook that supports the pan. Note that the mass is totally submerged in the fluid and the fluid container doesn't touch the pan supports. The mass can be weighed in air by hanging it from the hook or the support stand can be moved out of the way and the mass can be placed on the balance pan. When done using the balance, swing the support stand back into place Remove the pan support from the knife edge, turn the pivot lock up to lock the beam, and move the sliding masses to the right of their zero positions. Again, the pivot lock pointing up means that the beam is locked. The balance is ready to be stored away. Pan supports off the knife edge. Pivot lock is up in its locked position and the sliding masses are to the right of the zero position.